Good morning from Cabo San Lucas. It is beautiful out here today. I think it's a great day for what, Matthew? What are we doing today? We're going fishing. We are going fishing. Sharon, are you excited to get to back to fishing again? You had an experience <laughs> not, uh, well, a couple years back fishing that was not something you want to really remember. That's right. Um, I'm a little nervous about getting seasick on the little boat. Um, I don't do as well on small boats out in the ocean. You're anyways. a big boat kind of gal, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I am. So we'll see. All right. um, I got my wristbands I'm going to wear just in case. So we'll see how it goes. And maybe I'll even catch a fish. So we'll see. That's right. And today, guys, we're going fishing. We have chartered a boat. Um, to do a little bit of a fishing. It's gonna be an inshore fishing expedition. You know, Cabo is, is known for its fishing trips. And a lot of people think that you just have to come down here to go fishing and stay at one of the local resorts. But you don't, you can go fishing right from your, your cruise ship well, not right from your cruise ship. You, you can get on one of these many uh, fishing charters here in, uh, in Cabo San Lucas uh, right from a, as a cruise excursion that you can book yourself. You can book with the cruise line, but I'll tell you what, do it yourself. I bet you have a lot better experience and a much more intimate uh, uh, personal experience as well. We have chosen to go today with lands and charters. We, uh, we did some research, we looked online, we checked TripAdvisor, and we pulled the trigger on lands and charters for a number of reasons. Number one, they are owned and operated uh, themselves. It's not a third party booking agent and that's something you have to be aware of. Some places just book the, uh, the trip for you. Uh, others you can deal directly with the company. So we dealt directly with the company. I've spoken with a few folks, Greg the owner, Jenny who runs the show over there. We have some detailed instructions on exactly where to go and what to do once we get off the ship and hit the marina. And we're gonna take you along, walk you through the process, and today we're going to show you just how easy it is to book your own personal fishing charter on your next cruise to Cabo San Lucas. So let's get this party started. Okay, people, first things first, we need to get fueled up. So we're gonna do a quick little run to the buffet. Um, Matthew's gonna hit, I don't know, maybe pizza? All right, we're here at the buffet. Short line for the omelet. So although we're in a big hurry to get off the ship, I'm gonna pull the trigger on a couple of omelets for Sharon and myself. Matthew's deciding what he wants. He's gonna forego pizza and try to eat something a little more normal, maybe some muffins or something like that. And uh, we're gonna whoop down some food because we've got a monster day going on in Cabo. All right, we woofed down some breakfast, and I mean woof. And uh, now we're going to be going back to the room, gathering our stuff, and trying to get off of the ship. Uh, we get to go to a certain location since we're platinum uh, to get off with like priority tendering, so that's kind of cool should speed up the process a little bit. And uh, then we're looking to go meet our guy. Um, the nice thing is that right there in the marina is gonna be our meetup spot. And the boat we're gonna get onto is right there in the marina as well. All right, so many of you know that Cabo San Lucas is a tender port. You're gonna take water shuttles from the ship into the marina because the ship is too big to actually dock anywhere here in uh, Cabo. So we're gonna head down, get on our water shuttle, and head into the marina and uh, we have a, a map that was provided by Lands and Charters on how to get there. I got full little document packet here knowing exactly what we're going to need and everything like that. Um, you can make a deposit ahead of time to secure your place on, on, the, on the boat on a private charter. And then when you get there, you can pay the difference. There's going to be a couple different ways that you can go with this. You can do an all-inclusive where everything's included. You can pay for a, what they call a bare uh, boat, meaning that you might provide your own licenses, food, and drinks, because you do have to have a Mexican fishing license. As a matter of fact, that's a good note to know. Anyone on the boat needs to have a license. Whether or not you intend on fishing, the rule is that you have to have a license if you're out fishing from a boat. As soon as we get into the marina area, we'll get off the ship and we'll head to the location that we already have specified. Um, I also have phone number and point of contact for Lens and Charters if 
I have any questions. So everything's running smooth and uh, we're gonna be heading there and we'll show you just how easy it is to get your fishing excursion started. Here's something else that's pretty cool, okay? The same phone number that you call when in the U.S. may not be the number that you want to call when you get here. Now, Lands End Charters provided me with a point of contact for the office, as well as a point of contact for the fleet manager, Haram, who will be waiting at a Carlitos Cantina for us. It's a little restaurant spot right there in the marina. Uh, like I said, we have a little map with directions. We're familiar with the port, so we kind of know exactly where to go, but even if you haven't been here before, it's really easy to make out. And if you have any other questions, about getting there the the charter company can give you all the details exactly where to go I already sent a text message to Haram who responded very quickly uh, just saying yes we were ready for you and I let him know where we are we'll be getting off the ship shortly and we'll be ready to go so uh, it just feels great knowing that you're 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 all set up they're there waiting for you and everything is right on schedule all right guys here we go it's this easy now, if you uh, have accessibility issues, you'll go somewhere else and they can get you on a different way. So that's nothing to worry about, okay? But for us, we're taking this little tender and rolling in. All right, so just like that, we're off the ship. I mean, that was super, super easy. Now let's take a look at where this little boat's going. Over there to the right, you got Madonna Beach. Somebody's yacht. So the other ship in port with us was Holland America, the Oosterdam, and looks like they're taking some of their lifeboats in as shuttles. Some ships will do that. So they did a little bag check as we got off. No big deal. They're just checking for fruits, vegetables, and things you should not be bringing on the ship or bringing onto land from the ship, I should say. We are heading to uh, Carlitos Cantina, a little restaurant spot uh, where we'll meet the fleet manager, Haram, and we'll get our day started. So when you get off, there's going to be a lot of vendors here offering you services. And you can just come out here and wing it if you want, take your chances. But usually having something planned is a little better bet. Here's a little note. Here's a couple little small boats you see right there. Those are the size of the water taxis that will take you back and forth to Madano Beach. And there's a lot of other boats here. So you can get a water taxi for five, six bucks a person to take you from the marina right over to Madano Beach and spend the day there if that's what you want to do. So here we are, Carlitos Cantina. Our guy was sitting right here waiting for us. It's right next to the lighthouse here, so you can't miss it. Uh, we just walked about halfway around the marina to get here. Very easy walk. Bypassed a lot of options for other tours to go on this one. And now our guy's gonna get us hooked up with some uh, fishing licenses and stuff. Um, and we're gonna be on our way. Again, one of the nice things is that everything's included in this. We knew exactly what we're gonna need when we got here. So let's go in and check out our guy. There he is right there. Hey Ram, take care of us. There she is, the big kahuna too, baby. We're ready to roll. Thank you. Hola. Gracias. So he went ahead and called the boat over. They're right here to meet us. Amazing, great service. And boom, we are here, ready to roll. Look at this beauty. Welcome aboard, everyone. This is Mr. Tony. He's one of our today. All right, so we're here. We're on the boat. We made it. We have met the captain. We have met the first mate. Can you believe this? I mean, what a little setup. What a setup they got going on here. In a couple minutes, we'll show you. The, there's a little inside area. They even have a little bathroom on this boat. So it's got all the bells and whistles. Now, if you're booking charters, especially with these guys, there's a lot of options. When we took a look on their website, they had a, a number of different boats to choose from. Uh, some are called little, I think they're called pangas, they're just little open boats um, that you can get on and fish for a couple hours, no frills. For a few more dollars you can, you can pay a little more and, and, and get a little more of an upscale experience. Um, these guys have quality equipment, quality uh, boats, these guys have a dual engine back here. It makes you feel good knowing that if anything goes wrong they got two motors to get you back. And they got trained professionals here running the ship, running the boat. So. We are super excited to be on the water. Sharon's a little nervous. Matthew has no idea what to expect. Are you psyched up, buddy? I am. Okay. I hope so. I hope to see you catch a nice fish today. Sharon, what's the 
What's on your wrist? Uh, my C-bands, just in case. Okay. I'm being proactive. All right, good deal. Beautiful. That, oh, there it is. Today we're gonna be seeing if we can find, uh, I don't know, we might see some Dorado, maybe a rooster fish, forgot. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll even uh, troll a little bit for, for any uh, billfish, like a marlin or something. I don't know if we're gonna catch anything, but we're gonna have a lot of fun doing it. It's beautiful out here. Look at the views. Speaking of beautiful views. All right, so we took about a 20 minute drive or so from the marina. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit of a bouncy ride, but Sharon did great, look at her, like a rock star. So now we're here, and uh, we're gonna see what, what happens, see if we can get into a fish. All right, so we got the captain here, Nayo, first mate, Antonio. This guy is ready, look at him, he's covered up. <laughs> he's ready for anything. Excellent. Antonio's keeping an eye on where the boat is. The captain is dropping a little bait in the water for us. Let's see if we can get on something. Sharon, what's a pro tip for when you come out here in all this sunshine? Uh, bring your sunscreen. That's right, guys, because uh, pale people like me, maybe Matthew, maybe not so much Sharon, we will burn uh, to bits out here in this uh, Cabo Mexican sunshine bouncing off the water, so lube up well and cover yourself. All right, so the boat here that we're on, the Big Kahuna 2, has got a little uh, area down here. I'm sure if you'd call it a, not a galley, but it's a little spot where you can lay down to rest if you need to. They got the bathroom down here. Come on, let's go take a look. I'll show you what it looks like. Matthew, what do you got there? Yeah, That's right. The guys on the ship are nice enough to hook us up with a couple of refreshments as well. You could also you could also request lunch, I think. Sharon, what you got? Nice. <laughs> and of course for the old man, Pacifico. Boy, that is delicious, delicious. And now we just wait, relax, listen to the amazing sounds of the waves crashing into the shoreline. Wait for a fish to get on these lines. All right, update, we've been out here a little bit. It is gorgeous out here, it's beautiful. The sound of the water, being out on the ocean is fantastic. I think we've had a bite so far on one of the lines, but have not hooked into a fish yet. Captain's trying hard to make it happen for us. Matthew's chilling, I'm chilling. Sharon is a little, she's hanging in there. All right, 
And so that spot we were in looked a little hectic and a little loaded. A lot of boats in that one same spot doing the same thing. So we're gonna mix it up a little bit and uh, Captain decided we're gonna go out and troll. We're done going for those little shoreline fish. We're going for something big. All right, so the captain's got it set up. He's got five lines in the water. Uh, trolling for billfish or marlin, anything. All right, so a lot of people are wondering how will Sharon make out on the fishing trip? You know, she's talked openly about her seasickness that time when we went to Cancun and the $600 trip that we had to put the kibosh on about an hour and a half into it. But today she has been a trooper. I'm not gonna lie. That's my saying, isn't it? I'm not gonna lie. There was a time earlier where it was a little touch and go. As we were kind of parked and really slow rolling up by the shoreline, there was a lot of movement, just back and forth and waving and up and down. And then at one point, as the captain tried to back this thing into the shoreline with some other boats that were getting some hits, uh, I thought it was over, Johnny. I really did. I thought we were gonna have to shut her down. But she's come back like a trooper. We're out in deeper water now. We're, we're moving faster. Things are more calm. We're trolling a little bit. And she's feeling great. So that might be a little tip for you guys. Is if you're somebody susceptible to seasickness, make sure that you're on um, uh, more open waters trolling as opposed to just sitting in one spot where it gets a little rougher. And if you are starting to feel bad, have the captain pull out a little bit, pick up the pace a little, and you'll probably end up feeling a lot better. That's Jamie's anti-seasickness fishing tip of the day. Take that to the bank. Wow, now it's a party. Now it's a party. That was amazing. Did you see that? That was a sea lion, like a foot away from us. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so here we are wrapping up an amazing day on the Big Kahuna 2. We had a great day. Listen, the bad news, we only had a couple bites. Didn't catch any fish. The good news, we had an amazing, amazing afternoon. Uh, gorgeous weather, uh, relaxing, beautiful scenery. We had a blast. Even Sharon, who's preoccupied now with these guys, Look at that. ended that up having a great say? time after she was a little rough around the edges to start. Matthew, how about you? You have a good time out there? Yeah. Yeah, that was a blast? All right, I know, we didn't catch any fish. It was a bummer, but you don't always catch fish. Part of it is the experience, and if you catch a few fish, you're lucky. Okay, bye. All right, boys. Bye -bye. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so that's it. The end of an amazing day is here, unfortunately, but all good things have to come to an end. We had a great, great time. The ride-in was unbelievable. Did you see that sea lion and those birds? I don't even know what those birds were called. Gulls, seagulls, I don't know. Uh, Hydram was here. To, uh, to meet us on the way out. He's one of the he's one of the guys that'll always be meeting you to get you to the boat and back from the boat and make sure everything went well for you and everything's safe and sound. So that was awesome. So Lands and Charters, thanks man. Amazing, amazing day we had. Didn't catch any fish, but we had a great, great day nonetheless. And that's what's important. Getting out with the family, enjoying a little bit of the beauty of this area and having fun. So thanks guys. We'll see you again. So now the great thing is when you're done with that fishing excursion, you're here. You're right at the marina where you got dropped off by your ship. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to take a taxi. You don't have to get stuck in traffic. Well, okay, maybe there'll be traffic getting back on the boat. I'm talking people, <laughs> but otherwise. And you can do some last minute shopping while you're here. You can uh, run in and get yourself a cold, refreshing brewski, chips and salsa, whatever you want. So 
definitely a good time. All right, if you want to get your party on and you don't want to leave the uh, marina area, then you can stay at Senor Frogs. You can hang out at Dick and Willie's Daiquiri Bar. You can eat some fresh Mexican food at the Tequila Shark Dockside Restaurant. All the options are there for you. All you got to do is want to party. These places are hopping. People will be here till the last minute waiting to get uh, back on the ship. Also guys, I have a pro tip for you. When you're ready to get back on the ship, make sure you go to the bathroom. I'm not kidding, make sure you go to the bathroom before you get in line. Because otherwise, you're gonna be in a long line. Check it out. This line will take you easily 30 minutes to get through. So hit the potty before you get into it. All right, on the plus side, once you get into this line, you get under some cover here. So we have some shade. Cabo's got a little bit of a breeze, so it's not that bad. Is it that bad, Sharon? No, it's not, it's not bad. Sharon, I, it, and I know. And we're continually moving a little bit, so, so that's good. I want to thank Sharon for letting me take the wheel on this vlog day. I was so excited. I wanted to share this fishing charter with you guys. You know, you guys know I'm a big fisherman. I love fishing. I, I'm not into fishing, really. Yes, and, uh, and that's why they call it fishing and not catching, because we did not catch a fish. You know what's funny is I've been on a couple of uh, uh, charters for fishing, and literally, I've hardly caught anything, but I don't know. I guess it's just luck of the draw, time of the year, whatever it is. But we had an amazing day anyway. And once, Sharon didn't feel too well early, but she came back like a trooper. I love her. I'm so proud of her for sticking it out. And um, once we got out of that area where we were kind of stopped, it was a, probably a good fishing area, and they might have stayed there a little longer, and maybe we would have caught something if I wasn't sick. But I think they oh, moved because honey. I was sick, so I'll take the blame. You're take the you're blame. falling on the grenade for us, and we appreciate that about you. But you don't have to do that. But um, but here we are. So we're gonna get back on the ship now. What's the first thing we can do on the ship? What's the plan, Sam? Eat. First thing is to eat. So we're gonna get back on the ship now, guys. Look at the line. We're moving around. We're moving through it. And uh, you'll see us back on the tender boat in a few minutes. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna snap my fingers and we're gonna be on the tender boat. Ready? One, two, three. There you go. We're on the tender and uh, we are heading out of Cabo back to the beautiful panorama. Guys, we scored the water shuttle seat of the day right here. We are, we're on a two story water shuttle. At the last second, I noticed that uh, they had a couple seats way up in the front and I asked for them and the guy hooked us up. So look at this view. Come on.